Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing my Easter series. This is the second video in the series. And as I mentioned in my last craft with me, this is my craft with me basket. So it has just about everything we're gonna need for today's crafts. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna set this off to the side and we're going to start here so this container i purchased from michael's i believe it was about a dollar it'd be nice if i can get this out of here <laughs> i tried to put everything in here so i could keep everything contained when i um when i cut everything out and i wanted to make sure i had all the pieces that went with each project so anyhow they have this in, I believe, like green, blue, purple, and I'm not sure what other colors. But today, just so you know, I am crafting, of course, Easter, but I'm making an Easter basket for a little girl in my church. So actually, all of these crafts today are all for her. So we are going to start with weeding these out. I'm not sure if I am going to use all of these, all of these rabbits that I found. I found these in Cricut Design Space. And what did I? Did I find these in Cricut? No, I can't remember. I don't, you know what? I, I either found it in Cricut or Canva. So I'm not 100% sure. I think it was in Cricut Design Space, but, and these are just the little, the little puffs for the tail. All right, first thing I need to do before we put anything on here is clean this off. So I'm gonna grab a little rubbing alcohol and, it on the towel and what I plan to do with this is put candy in it put some M&Ms in it so of course the inside will be cleaned before so this is just gonna be her little Easter candy jar all right I'm gonna grab some transfer tape and with these we don't need a huge piece and I've already Kind of cut into this already i'm gonna go ahead and cut this amount because i do first of all to even it all out so i'm just gonna cut this off and use what i have here again i do not need all of this so i'm gonna cut a small piece and i probably don't even need this big of a piece either no i definitely don't so we're gonna cut it one more time. There we go. I like this one better. Okay. I wanted to do, of course, do some Easter crafting and um, my kids are Preteens. So some of these things that I am giving her, I wouldn't give to my kids anymore. So I was like, I want to add some extra things on my channel. And I was like, oh, I know who I can make a basket for. Um, so we're just going to randomly put these on here. There we go. So this is vinyl from Hobby Lobby and it is a mint color. I actually heard another crafter, her name is Ashley. Um, she was raving about this. So I said, well, let me give it a, let me give it a try. This one is Oracle 651. 
I said, well, I need to definitely give it a try, especially because I do like the color mint. Um, it's a part of my, my logo as well. So I said, I gotta give that mint a try. And she kept saying how beautiful it is and it's really pretty actually. So I'm happy that I grabbed it from Hobby Lobby. It's a little bubble in this one. I'm gonna see if I can get that out. All right. And I'll be sure to link the vinyl that I'm using down below, just in case you, you are interested. The Oracle vinyl, this pink, I got from Michaels. They sell them by the sheets. They sell them by the roll. Um, and I just grabbed a couple of sheets because I knew which colors I wanted to use. And since I don't use adhesive vinyl a ton, I tend to just grab sheets sometimes because it just seems to be a little easier for me. Um, but yeah, of course, if they, I'm sure they sell it by the roll. So if you're interested in getting it in a roll, you can always check Michael's or you can check Amazon to see if they're selling it. Or maybe Joanne, I'm sure there's several options. All right, I think this is going to be the last one. The last little bunny on here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now we have the little tails. So we gotta get the tails on there. These things are so tiny. So I am going to grab it like this. Bingo. Yes. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay. Let's get on the next one. This is coming out better than I expected it. And not that I didn't expect it to come out nice, but this is so cute. This one with this little bubble in here. Let me see if I can get this bubble out of here. Like, I almost want to lift this up without. Okay, did I mess it up? I sure did. All right, let's peel this one off and put another one on since. We still have extras because I didn't like that bubble in there. So we are gonna get another one on. Okay, let's try not to get a bubble in this one. There we go. All right, now I can put the tail on that one. And she can always reuse this. Of course, we know it has the bunnies on it, but you know, kids, they like to take things and reuse them and 
play with them and put all sorts of things inside of things. <laughs> all right. I need to take this off at the bottom. Um, there we go. Okay, so here we are. You know what will be cute? Which I did not plan to do. I am going to put one of these on top. So before I say we are done, let's, let's go ahead and put this one on the lid. Why not? We have extra. And I was told by her mom that pink and purple are her favorites. So definitely put the pink up top. Yeah, there we go. And let's give it a tail. There we go. So here we go. We have the, the lid with a bunny. And we have the mint and pink on here. So this is our first craft all completed. I'm going to set this to the side and bring out the next one. Okay, so we have another adhesive craft. Going to make her a cup. It does come with the straw, but for crafting purposes, the straw wasn't necessary to have out at the moment. But I am going to bring in my cup cradle this time. I should have had it for the last one so the jar would hold still. Um all right, so this one is a little a little more intricate than the last, but we're gonna make it all work. It's gonna come out come out good. So let's get this all weeded out. Okay, so her name was here and it got ruined. The, uh, uh, the vinyl just stuck to itself, stuck to the letters and everything. So I'm going to have to cut out her name again. And I'm, so I'm going to take a moment to do that because we can't complete this one without having her name there. So I'm going to cut that out again. Okay. So I got this cut out again and I'm just going to get all these, these middles taken out. All right. We're going to go slow. Although I wasn't going super fast the last time, but I'm going to go slow and be careful. Okay, got that out. Got that one out. And this should be a breeze from here. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we do have some layering to do with this project and i think what i'm going to do is layer let's see how am i going to layer this i do have it pulled up on my computer so i can see where everything should go so i'm going to start with the ears and the feet I'm going to cut out another piece here. Yeah, that's good. So this purple piece, 
No. Okay, we just got it. This purple piece goes on top of the white. And this is also or Oracle. All actually all of it is. It's all Oracle 651, which is their permanent vinyl. Okay. See, I should probably do the the parchment paper method just so this doesn't stick on here too fast but so it's not so curved i yeah there we go okay so i see what's happening here and I want this side didn't get down and I don't want that side to go down. I'm going to have to fix that because it should have been a little lower. I see. Um, so it's okay. We got it's There's a way to fix it. There's a way to fix it. We take our time and do it and we do it right. So I'm going to get that on there. And the same thing with the ear. Here, I'm going to put this here to be the barrier so it won't go down. I'll put this on. There we go. Sometimes you got to piece things together when it's, when it's not going the way you had hoped. Then you got to piece it together. So that's what we're going to do. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Got all this trash. Let's move all that out. I'm gonna cut another piece. Yes, it's big enough. All right. And we're going to, oh, I didn't realize I've left these in there. I'm going to weed that in a moment. I'm going to come back in with my alcohol and clean off the cup. And we need to clean off the entire cup because all of these will go around the cup. So you clean it all off. I don't want to put the vinyl too close to the drinking area just in case she doesn't use the lid and the straw. If she just drinks on the cup, we don't want her mouth to touch any of the vinyl. So I don't want to put it too high. All right, we got it all on here. Let's straighten this out. And I'm going to put this right down here. And then let's get a scraper tool to come in and help get all this stuff down. There we go. All right, her, this is all on. Let's get her name in there. Okay, got the name on. Give it a good rub. I'd see I 
there's a little stray piece on there. So I'll grab that when the transfer tape comes up. And it came right up with the transfer tape, the little unwanted stray piece there. Okay. So that's the beginning part of it. I'm going to take these little eggs and get them down and just put them all around the cup. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to leave it as is. All right. We have one more adhesive vinyl craft. And this is going to be the basket that I put all of her items in. So what I want to do, I want to put something here on the front. So we're going to move that off to the side and weed these out. And this just, once again, is the same. All of these are the same adhesive vinyl by Oracle. And this just says Happy Easter. And this one is just the offset. So I did these in design space and I can put font information down below. Now for this one, I am going to use a paper transfer tape only because I'm slightly nervous <laughs> about using the my regular transfer tape on the basket because this is like a cardboard paper type of basket and i do not want it to ruin it and it might not it may very well hold up just fine with with um with the regular transfer tape but i don't want to take any chances and since i have this paper transfer tape may as well go ahead and use it and this the transfer tape this paper transfer tape i ordered off of amazon so i also can link this down below this is good to use on paper crafts so like if you're putting anything on like a gift bag or maybe on cardstock or in my case this cardboard box kind of thing and if you want to just make sure that things don't get ruined i would definitely go with this but of course it is your choice whatever you whatever you choose to do and what works for you because if it works for you then hey as as you may have heard if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> So if it works for you, then good. And it comes off like a dream. Bingo. Okay, let's get the Happy Easter on there. And this is just gonna go right on top of this offset. Now, the I will say the only thing about this uh, transfer tape is that you can't see through it as well as you can see through, um, you know, regular 
Trent, oh goodness, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is being temperamental today. Let's fix this before I put this down. Yeah, you cannot see as well through this paper transfer tape like you can with the regular clear tape transfer tape. So that is the only downside. What I'm going to do right now is cut some of this excess off because it is definitely getting in my way. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. I can manage it better. All right, let's see. Looks like it went down okay. So let's see how it looks. There we go. So like I said, it's not that easy to see through it you can see through it a little bit but it's definitely not as clear as obviously the clear transfer tape but here we go happy easter and all of her goodies will go into this basket so that is our third craft oh and i got this from michael's by the way uh it was 3.99 i'm gonna sit this off to the side clean up a bit because we are done with um, adhesive vinyl. For our next craft, I made her a coloring book and it just says Maya's Easter coloring book. And they, there's all types of coloring pages in here. So we have this one, one that says Jesus and so many. So we have the, we have the bunnies and the eggs, but we also have Christ and the cross and what we are celebrating his resurrection. So this is, and there's, there are several pages here, as you can see. All of these are the coloring pages that I made. I made these pages in Canva and then I uploaded them to Design Space and sized them appropriately. Same for the cover I made in Canva, took it over to Design Space to size it and get it all cut out. We're gonna bring in the cinch to get it all together. If you haven't seen the video I made making a notebook using the cinch, I would say check that out because it goes into a little more detail about how to use the cinch. And of course I still, you know, take a glance at the instructions because I am still new to this. This is my third time using it, but the very first time I made six notebooks but because they have if you see here this is the reason why you always want to go refer back to this because they say if your book is four inches you got to pull out peg eight if it's five peg ten so you want to know what peg you need to pull out based on the size of your book so i would say this is a set of instructions you never want to throw away. I don't always keep instructions, but these are definitely a must keep. So I'm going to sit these down here on the side. So my book is seven inches long and here it says book size in inches, seven inches. So I would need to pull out peg two. So I'm going to show you how this works. I will start with the pages just in case you haven't seen my video, but I definitely urge you to go, you know, I, I suggest you go over there and check that one out. Um, so we start like this, all the pegs are pushed in, right? If you can see these pegs here, all of them are pushed in and 
Uh, let me make sure um, this is the right side. Yeah, okay. We're going to push this all the way to the back here. Push this down. It's easier to do it standing. <laughs> push, push that down. And then we pull these out. So now you have the first few holes. And it, as you can see, it isn't even over here. So we're going to make it even right now. Pull this out. And you're going to line it up. This little lever here goes up and down. So I want to line this second hole up with that and push it down. Now here's where I pull out peg two. And then I can push down, push peg two back in, pull that little lever up on the side. And now my holes are even. Okay. So that's how you do that. Let me punch the rest of this. So once again, we're going to punch these holes. Pull that out. Okay. <laughs> Line it up with the second hole here. And then, ah, uh, no. I think I just messed it up a little bit. Yeah, I did. So kind of messed it up here. This hole should not go there, but I moved a little too fast and forgot to pull out peg two. But you know what? We're going to go with it. It'll be fine. All right. And then we're going to do the cover and the, the front and back cover covers. We're going to push that down. Pull this out, line it up, put that down, pull out peg two and push that down. And then put peg two back in, lift that lever up, and there we go. Oh, I didn't say it. So I made this. I made the covers out of 110, I think, yes, 110 pound cardstock. So it's, it's sturdier than the actual sheets here. Now what we need to do is put the binding on. So in theory, you're supposed to be able to put this on the side and get that on there. I'm gonna put the covers here and you put that on. And the reason why I say in theory is because sometimes it could be a little, it can be a little tricky trying to get this on here and then get the pages on. So sometimes you might need to start with the binding off and then put it back on. But today it worked with no problem, which is great. Um, okay, hold on. I think I really did mess up these. Okay, it's a little off. Ugh, that is not nice, but it's okay. It'll be okay. Um, you So you put the front cover on, right? And then you put the back cover on upside down. And I'm gonna show you why we put it on upside down. So this is finished. And to close it all up, we have to take this, take this off and open this back up. 
we want to move this. This is a half inch. So we're going to move this over this way to the half inch mark right there. And put this in here. And this will squeeze it. Let's squeeze this again. Not squeeze the fingers. All right. It's let's try this one more time. Let's give it another good squeeze. And of course this, and we can remedy this, that will not stay on there anyway, but I'm going to move this out the way. What we do from here is clip this and that breaks it off and you want to take this piece here and bend it in all right and then i'm going to cut off these two pieces over here because they don't need to be here but I want to leave a little extra so we have enough to bend in. There we go. And we bend that in. And then look, remember we put the, put it on backwards. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. And now she has an Easter coloring book. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is bothering me so much. <laughs> this is really bothering me. I don't like that how that is. So I have a feeling that I'll go back and reprint these and punch those hole, uh, holes again so this is not sticking out here like this and have this extra hole and whatnot going on. I don't like it, but you see how it should go. So providing that you do not forget to pull out the peg, that's why you have to pull out those pegs because if you don't, you'll get this unnecessary broken hole down where it should not be. So pulling out those pegs are important. And now you can see what happened since I made the mistake here, you can see what not to do. That's the end of this craft. We're gonna move on to our last craft. Hey guys, coming to you from the future. So remember I said that I would most likely be fixing this coloring book? Well, I did. I reprinted and punched the new holes into the new pages and put a new binding wire on the book. So now it looks really good. And I feel happy about giving her this coloring book versus the other one. So the fix has been made. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, we've got to make her a shirt. Of course, it wouldn't be me without making a shirt because that is one of the things that I really like to do. So I decided to make her a an Easter shirt. And honestly, she could kind of get away with wearing this at any time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is roll this. I do need to give the shirt a little bit of heat. So I am going to give it a little bit of heat really quickly and then come on back. Okay, so we preheat the shirt because of course, a lot of times it's wrinkled, but you also wanna get the moisture out of the shirt so your design can adhere to the shirt as best as possible, okay? And here, let me show you the design. This design I found on Creative Fabrica, and this is actually DTF. I ordered this from 143 Vinyl, so what you would do is upload your image 
onto one on 143 vinyl or wherever you would like to purchase a DTF transfer from and then they send it to you. So this is where I got this from and it says one cute chick, a little chick in the egg. Um, so this is what's going on here. I am going to measure this and this is just how this is just how I always measure. They have the shirt guide. I actually have them, <laughs> but I always find myself um, going back to just using my tape measure. It's it's just the thing. It's just it's my thing. And as much as I could probably just throw the little guide on there, I don't do it. I don't always do it. I do it sometimes. But most of the time, no, I don't. Okay, so this is where I want it to be. And this is not sticky at all. So to keep it in place, you want to use some, some heat tape. this is all ready to go what we're going to do from here is go over to the heat press and get this all pressed down okay so we're going to get this on here 143 vinyl always sends instructions with theirs and they tell you to do your pre-press which i did um and they say to set your heat press at 329 degrees and you want to press it for 20 seconds this is a cool peel so you want to allow it to cool down completely before removing the carrier sheet and it also says you want firm pressure so I already have this set with the firm pressure I just want to Hold it up real quick just to make sure. Okay. I think I'm going to shift it just a tiny, tiny bit. So we're going to let this press for 20 seconds. And of course they said to let it cool down completely but once it's cooled down you are supposed to press it for another 20 seconds without the carrier sheet on and it even says press for an additional 20 seconds parchment paper or heat resistant sheet not needed so I'm gonna kind of shake this out a little bit get it to cool down faster because leaving it on here, it'll take a very long time to cool down. Okay, this is all cooled down. I'm going to remove the carrier sheet. All right, it, it looks good. Let's just do that extra 20 seconds that they recommend. All right, that's how it looks. So we're gonna go back over to my craft desk. So we have all our crafts back on the table. I am loving all of them. And that is about all I'm going to say. Let me tell you why. Because we're going to play a game down in the comments. We're going to play Rate That Craft. And what I want you to do is choose three of the five and put them in the order that you like them the most. 
okay of course if you wanted to do all of them you could but we got to get at least three and put their put them in the order that you like them so i'm not going to share how i feel specifically about any one of them you heard how i felt about them when i first made them so i'm not going to say what my favorite was or anything like that okay what i want y'all to do is sound off in the comments and let's get this game going i want to thank you all for watching and sharing this time with me i hope you enjoyed what was on my craft desk for today i hope that you will come back for we have one more video in the easter series for next week so i hope that you'll come back and see what i have cooked up for next week so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and click those bell notifications so you don't miss any videos that i post i post once a week on wednesdays so catch me here each wednesday and i hope to see you all soon in my next video later guys